Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Talk About Sleep, based on the book, Let's Talk About Sleep. The Amazon link to this is always in the description box down below. Book number two is on its way, working on that uh, diligently, off hours, of course. Um, if you like this channel, please click like, please subscribe. As we get to 1,000 subscribers, uh, I will send a signed copy of that to a lucky uh, viewer at random, but you got to be in it to win it, so subscribe. Please uh, share this with your friends and family. And as I always say, these videos are for education only. They are not meant to supplant going to see a doctor or a clinician, okay? What I want to talk about today is something of, uh, of interest in the pop world, I guess, but also in the, in the, uh, or in the, in the sleep world is uh, Jennifer Aniston and her recent um, affiliation with uh, Edorcia Pharmaceuticals. Okay, I think they're a French, French company. They have recently put out a new medication called QVivic. Okay, and the, the generic name is Daridorexant. All right. Now, <clears throat> what I always say to people when they ask about new medications that have come out and advertisements and things of that nature, I am all for public education. That's what this channel is all about, is public education. I want people to know about sleep, sleep health, sleep disorders, things of that nature. So anything that's going to uh, em embrace that and cause people to pay more attention to their sleep and to their sleep health, I'm all for. So the fact is somebody who is as prominent as Jennifer Aniston being involved with a medication or with a company that's going to help tr to treat insomnia, I think is great. So I'm all for that. I'm all for their advertising, uh, advertising campaign. You know, she said that, or, or she's going to be having commercials where she talks about her own trouble with insomnia and how the pillars of health is exercise, diet, and sleep. You know, all for it, and I believe in all that. That's great. So good job, Jennifer Aniston. You're you're a friend of mine, if you catch the reference. But does Daridorexant or QVivic, does it work? All right. And I have to be honest here on this channel, and, and I'm a little skeptical. Okay, So there was a, a journal uh, art, article published recently in The Lancet, which is a very respected uh, journal uh, in the medical science, saying that this medication really was uh, very minimal side effects and next day, next day functioning was, was better than placebo. All good stuff. The problem, though, is that there have been a few medications that have come out over the years in this same type of category, okay? The first one was called Belsomra, okay, B-E-L-S-O-M-R-A, that came out about six or seven years ago, okay? And what these medications purport to do is they work on what's called the orexin system, O-R-E-X-I-N. Um, if you've watched any of my narcolepsy videos, you know that the orexin system, basically what it does, it's a hormone that's produced by the brain, and essentially what it does, it keeps us awake when we're awake, keeps us asleep when we're asleep, okay? So when that's being missed, okay, so when, when, the, when the brain stops making it, that's when narcolepsy gets, gets, when narcolepsy happens, okay? So it's thought of as kind of like a, it's almost like a wake-promoting hormone, okay, in the brain, orexin is. Now, what these medications are doing, so QVivic, Belsamra, um, Davigo was another one, what they do is they're orexin inhibitors or orexin antagonists, which basically means that you take this pill, it shuts off the orexin system, okay, so before bed, you're taking this and basically shutting off the wake-promoting region or wake-promoting uh, agent, and what you're doing is because you're shutting off the wake promoter, sleep should happen. Okay, so you're kind of uh, taking, you're, you're not only taking your foot off the brake, you're slamming on the gas, uh, other way around. You're taking your foot off the gas and slamming on the brake. So the idea is that, you know, your brain is going to go into the sleep, okay, as a result of this. Sounds good. Sounds like it would work because you're stopping the wake agent or stopping the wake promoter in the brain. The problem, though, at least with Belsamra, is it did not work, okay? And I, I'm not sure why, if it just wasn't able to get into the brain enough or... We just, uh, you know, we were not using high enough doses. I don't know. But I can tell you that myself and my colleagues in the sleep world really don't use Balsamra because it really just not, was not shown to work. So I do have those same concerns with QVivic. 
I hope I'm wrong. Okay, I hope that it does show to be to be effective in real life. You know, trials are always, always interesting. The, the kind of the way the trials are designed are to show that this medication is effective and safe. Great, but in real life, though, it doesn't always translate to that. So, time will tell. Okay, whether this medication is really useful or not. But as it is right now, I'm a little skeptical. But that being said, I do I do salute Edorcia, Jen Aniston, and this company for doing what they can to promote sleep and sleep health and, you know, get people talking about insomnia, which is very common. Um, so keep an eye out for this. Uh, again, I'm not recommending it right now. I'm not recommending it to my patients right now. But hopefully down the road, I am proven wrong. Um, but that's kind of where I stand. So if you have any questions on this medication specifically, on Jennifer Aniston, on insomnia, please, <laughs> please leave them in the comment section down below. Once a month, I will get to any and all questions and make videos uh, addressing everything. So, again, that's my opinion. These videos are for educational purposes only. And uh, please like and subscribe. And until next time, sleep well.